everybody, Grid21, back with another tutorial video. And today I kind of have something, um, I guess, sort of semi-special a little bit. And uh, I was not able to find, um, at least to my best of my abilities, not able to find any tutorials about how to do what we're going to be talking about today. So I thought I would make my own. And uh, I'm going to say that this is I'm doing this tutorial under the under the best understanding that I have and what seems to work best for me in my case. Uh, today, I'm gonna be working inside uh, FL Studio. I'm gonna be talking about how to get Chord Jam, which is a plugin and, uh, and, and another software contact to basically talk to each other. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Chord Jam is essentially a software that has some AI abilities and such that when you play one uh, keynote on a MIDI keyboard such as this one over here, it will play basically an entire set of chords based around scales and octaves and all the other stuff. And it's a very cool software, it's very powerful, really cool for, uh, for songwriting when you're trying to come up with an idea and you're just not sure what really you want to play or what sounds good. Uh, but what I was not able to find was any tutorials about how to get Chord Jam set up in FL Studio so that it can interact with your various virtual instruments. And through some testing that I did on my, for myself, I was able to find what I think is probably the best way to do it. There's probably other ways that I don't know of, but I think for the sake of um, getting it to work just for me, for my purposes, really seemed to work well. So if you have FL Studio and if you have Chord Jam and you're not sure how to get it set up, this video is hopefully for you. So let's go ahead and get into it. And I'll do my best to explain along the way what we're trying to do here. So let's go ahead and jump into FL. So let me go and move my uh, camera over here. So basically, uh, we're inside FL Studio here. Um, this is FL Studio. I don't actually, it's like version 21, I believe, is what we're running right now. And as you can see, I have all my uh, my plugins and such. And it's a, basically a completely clean slate. I'm actually going to close the mixer because I don't need that right now. Um, so clean slate. And what we're going to do is first, let's make sure that your MIDI keyboard, in my case, it's a uh, this is by M Audio. It's a Keystation Mini 32. Uh, basically, the way that I've understood this is that uh, Chord Jam needs some kind of MIDI input, and then it can also then generate a MIDI output, which then that virtual instrument takes in as the MIDI data from Chord Jam and such. So it's important to make sure that your MIDI keyboard is set to um, it was set to port zero, just to make sure that's all working properly, and that you can obviously you know, send and I know this is a kick drum, but you know, obviously, oh, well, you can't hear this. Hold on a minute. Obviously send in, you know, data and stuff to FL in general. So, uh, make sure again that your, you know, the go to the options, MIDI settings, make sure that your, uh, MIDI device, like your keyboard, whatever is properly set and configured and on port zero. In my case, whatever port would be for you is fine. So we're done here. And what you're going to do is basically go under your plugins tab and you'll look for uh, chord jam. And this is the interface of Chord Jam uh, altogether. But what we're going to do is go into the uh, this little gear and plug option, and we're going to set the input port to port zero, which is our keyboard. And then we're going to uh, pick any number of ports that you want. I don't know how far up it can go, but it can go up pretty far, obviously. For today's use case, we're only going to go up to output port one. And so that is then set, and then obviously as I go to play, something is playing a series of, uh, of chords all together with one single button push. Um, I think maybe just to make it all sound decent, we'll just kind of like set everything to major scale and scale type major, and we'll just do progression A here, and that'll be what we do. All right, cool. So again, this is for connecting things that take in MIDI input, such as contact. So we're going to pull up a contact instance um, right here. This works also, I believe, with the Spitfire Labs plugin as well. I'm going to pull that out for you. So again, it takes MIDI input and Contact also takes MIDI input as well. So it works for any one of those. Again, any plugin that is in FL Studio that receives MIDI input port, you can assign a port input to. So obviously in this case, in Chord Jam, we assigned the output one. We're going to receive on one as well. And then we're going to pick, uh, I have a, we're going to pick the primary color palette here. And this is a, a nice stringed instrument that uh, I was able to find for free online. 
and basically now that we've assigned so again I kind of went through that a little fast I'll do it again so let's go and actually just clear that out so uh, how do I clear all right so let's go and clear this out all right so again you're bringing in contact from your plugins section you're gonna drop it in the uh, I think this is called the channel rack in FL studio and then right away go ahead and go to the gear option assign port one as the input uh, incoming MIDI port and then on Core Jam, make sure that you have the output port set as one as well. So it's basically a one to one, but I'm cha. Uh, but basically, output, input, and it will then, these two will now talk to each other because they're talking on a MIDI port. And then you can then bring in whatever instrument you want. Uh, in my case, I'm just going to bring in primary color palette since this already was selected from another instance I had open. And when you go to play on, I think you have to play from chord jams yes you have to play from chord jam so you're going to select chord jam uh in the channel rack and you're going to I'm just going to pull these over here and as i play i wish this wasn't quite so big but okay i can kind of do a little little scaling here so as i play one singular key It is now basically sending and receiving MIDI data inside FL Studio. And then of course you can add as many voices as you want and it doesn't really matter. It'll still... Uh, let's see here. It'll basically send that data out, receive into contact. So uh, yeah, that's basically how you do it. This is Core Jam inside FL Studio. And again, this is how you connect the two together so they can talk to each other. Uh, the really cool part actually that I found as well, and I'm gonna bring another instance of contact in here, is that you can actually play um, multiple instruments all at once. So for example, since we're working off of MIDI port one, I could go into the labs plugin here and then pick uh, what's another instrument. Let's go pick. I've really been in love with um, bagpipes. Actually, it's been really kind of fun to play. So we're gonna click load. Let's actually go up a, a little bit here. So any again, you could bring in as many virtual instruments as you want, as many as your computer will handle, or at least FL in this case will handle. You can then assign any instrument that MIDI port that Chord Jam is sending, and then simply just play Chord Jam like it were an instrument, and it will do all the rest of the playing inside software for you. So I hope this tutorial was useful. If you have any questions, please drop them in the comment section down below. I will do my best to answer them. Uh, it shouldn't be too difficult to set up, but I know that not everybody is quite as technical as myself when it comes to these sorts of things. So uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.